Set a link. 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 
Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. Sada link. You cannot ignore vision and still be looking for good to happen. Companies have failed in Ghana because we employed visionless people and salary based people. The only thing they think about is what to take. Won't you promote? Boss is not promoting us. Father, I'm praying for promotion. You are praying for promotion when you don't even understand the work you do. Why don't you ask for insight? And we have many believers that goes to work every time and they are a mess at the office. A mess at the office. Yet they come back and when they come back when we are praying, instead of them to pray for understanding, they pray for salary increase. When you don't understand even the work that you are doing and your same God says that whatever, whatsoever your hand find to do, do it with all your heart. Do it. That same God is there. That means that God would analyze how you work. I can never be blessed beyond my seriousness attached to ministry. Ministry can only be a blessing to me according to the seriousness I have attached to it. You will never be rewarded over anything you don't understand and you have not attached seriousness to. You will never in this life, I repeat myself, hear this, you will never be rewarded on anything that you have not really understood and worked at. The best you can get is a demotion. Many of you who have ignored vision, understanding, and you are just doing anything. Eh, famisa, sana meti, famisa, sana meti, famisa, yam famisao. Nobody rewards worthlessness. Not even God rewards it. There was Peter, there was Thomas, there was James, there was John. But they all couldn't sustain the intelligence of Apostle Paul. 
So Paul had to choose Apostle Paul. Why? Because he was a Pharisee. He has studied it. He has studied He understood. So he could stand with argument. God chose him and wrote a lot through him. You think that you can continue like this to be blessed and to be used by God? He will turn to the back side and pick another person. So this man could stand before King Agrippa and not kill his case. He said, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. I was not. I argue. The king said that you nearly convinced me. You must pick up yourself and be serious about life. Dr. Buenin just said something. He said that life will only give you the best if you give life your best. You must be too prepared that five minutes opportunity can give you a lifetime opportunity. Prepared in prayer. Prepared in excellence. Prepared in uniqueness. All by sustaining a particular vision for your life. There are many of us who wrote a lot of things this year. I will do this. I will do this. I will do this. I will do this. And we've not done even one of them. Yet we are looking for the reward attached to those things. You can't behave like everybody. Pursue the vision. What God called you for, pursue it. What God anointed you for, pursue it. What God empowered you for, pursue it. That is where you know that your life is not measurable. You have not just laid hold on vision. You have not been delayed. You have just done laid hold on vision. A man in honor that understandeth not is like a beast that perish in the field. Greatness without understanding vision is equal to being an animal. That's what the Bible says. And unfortunately, this kingdom is full of people who have literally forced God to release glory, yet don't understand the glory. Do you know what it means to be used by God? That you want to be used by God but have many things and do what others are doing. It doesn't work. Everybody that was ever used greatly by God had to be sacrificed. They didn't sacrifice. They were the sacrifice. Billions don't enter the hands of men that don't understand the vision. We have a pleasure-centered religion called Christianity. Before they come, a visionless generation. There are giant killers right now seated under the sound of my voice. Giant killers. The vision is for them to crash giants and take dominion on earth. But looking at the vision they are sustaining right now in their heart, God can release the glory right now. There are dangerous, dangerous prophets and apostles right now hearing my voice. But looking at the kind of vision and understanding you are sustaining and how you see things in the eyes of your spirit, God can release that dimension right now until you decide to grow. He said the hair, as long as you remain a child, is not different from a servant, but is given to tutors until the appointed time. God will never give you anything you have not sustained the right vision and understanding for. People coming in to work in the, in the kingdom, well, they don't understand. And that it will be the judgment of many senior pastors. Because we committed work in the hands of people that God knows nothing about. Lack of vision. Don't know why the Bible says they should submit to their husbands don't know why the bible says they should love yet fighting for glory before god blesses you remember what i'm telling you for every glory that will be released over your life there is a vision and understanding that you must sustain you can't be a casual believer you can't be a normal christian moses cannot be given the responsibility he's given until he understands the vision it was in the middle of the road we realized that Aaron didn't really understand the vision. And under a little pressure, 
the man gave them another God because they didn't understand there are many of us it is a little anger that will reveal the fact that we don't understand the vision a little hunger a little delay will expose our ignorance about the vision there are many of us it is a little breakthrough that will expose us you were doing fire until god shifted you a bit then pride came in clearly you don't understand but the things we teach if you walk by it automatically blessing must land so we are shocked that the blessing is not landing but when we take an inventory of your life that is where we know that the things you clap to you didn't understand don't misuse time don't misuse opportunities don't misuse money don't misuse breakthroughs understand the vision of your calling and your glorification will be entered. Every day with God, I thank God so much for what he has done and his blessings upon mommy and daddy. So my mother used to have this body itching after bathing. So previously I thought it was just a normal thing. So I asked her to the web. After the web, it still continued. So I was thinking it was an allergy reaction. So I told her to change her pomade, her soap, and other detergents she's been using. After doing that, so it was there. So I got to a point that when she even scratched her body, then blood starts coming out. I got scared. I was like, what is this? Because I've been hearing people say that after bathing, they usually get this body itching. So how come my mommy son is still there? So we had to do some labs to be sure what the issue was. After doing the labs, everything came out negative. It got to a point that she was even having rashes all over the body with blood coming out from it. So I paid her a visit and then I started using her water as a point of contact. On the third day of using the water, Papa mentioned her case. From that day to now, that problem has been solved. From that day to now, it has been so, solved. And we said, thank you, Jesus. After the declaration of the prophet, the solution took over. Hallelujah. So I'll testify on the behalf of our brother. She connected the sister who wrote uh, of Dex, and by the grace of God, she passed very well. His second testimony, he fell asleep without locking his door. A thief came in, took his phone, which is iPhone S out, and he communicated or he told someone about it. Less than a week, he got iPhone 11. So here to return the glory back to Jesus. He said he had been um, falling sick almost every day on his birthday until he connected to this altar until he joined Grace Mountain. And since then, that thing has never been repeated again. So he's here to return all glory back to Jesus. And also, he has been in the art of masturbation for 10 solid years. He has been he connected to Alpha Hour. He has been praying in the altar. And by the grace of God, that spirit of masturbation is broken. And it's Less than three months. But now my ninja when I'm in any age. I but now guy no emptiness. So it's an arm signing to or to me home coin or cross over border. Say or cock a vampire at Shrani Yami. It's a quiet no, me the minim she. I fe more hammer who say, Miss Sotiana Etty. My yammy who. Me nima de cro, and on Rakasa frame me. I can show me say, Miss Obetia on Rakasa and Baba Fabema be anywhere or bet him. It's you know, Bama no across the border, add the milk or Cote d'Ivoire, a honour or Cote Jamie. It's from twenty twelve to last year, twenty twenty three, eleven years, my brand Cassa, means me and Cote Nippon. Me won't be my crown me job because my phone I get to get to get to get to but that be at me bomb fire your fasting but I send back on paper that me catch me honey say a ready what I see a minami so I some none of that I'm dead to see me right see last year July July August 
mani eya meya the whole night men ti mianda nti about of na me hu se obi a she link bi na me clear case na me se ana me se ma me she ni akoso ti me me follow ya bom pa ye ni bia na me se wow e ha na me fe na me ka ho but before na me ni ne ya me hene no ana me yisi nsio as point of contact ye wie ya na me call washim do call washim money from last year be seen na emba bia sa wi ki ni ma me ko so e follow so of bia na ma journey in the ni two days ana papa declare say obi wo ota yisa o ti emi wa didi wa ye bibia onyare anso ni so ti ana eti me ti ana am say wow papa ya come as say we dem agya ma me hu ni jina so e bon paye from last year i guess to now me so ntb me jina ha me ba by the declaration of a prophet it is done we say thank you jesus for the level solid years na mini fa e ka sai pe abe wi e ka si yesu ya da wase o oh our failures will testify of god's goodness in jesus name amen chief of we have some mind blowing testimonies here my god let's flow we don't even know how to thank the god of our father oh, praise the god of grace mountain indeed what god cannot do does not exist my ovarian cyst of about 9 years is gone oh my god jesus and she's not done chief our friend aha na embe denu pastor elvis me that a doctor said i cannot give birth because of the ovarian cyst has now given birth to twins so oh jesus jesus that's jesus. the beautiful jesus. twins jesus jesus ovarian cysts have disappeared oh my god and the end result is twins yeah, when Jesus. doctors said you can't give birth Jesus. people of there is a way god can do so mighty mighty works that great things now becomes normal to people that is where his work stops in the lives of people our ferians let's give him a 30 second slap and a shout yeah. the god 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 who destroys reports who changes lives we are here to say thank you a barren person is receiving your twins somebody listen if you want a child stand up from where you are jump and shout thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus this is how his works looks like ovarian says disappears without surgery the next thing is pregnancy for twins and here they are lord we are grateful amen be dear to us number 1 a sister called eva god bless you eva introduce me to alpha hour i had heard of it but i wasn't sure if it was genuine but she kept sending it every 12 am so one time i joined and i liked it Fast forward, I was working on a visa application for my husband to join me here in the UK. I was praying a lot but no show. So one time, I told God, I am sowing a seed of 11 pounds and that I should hear from them before November ends. By the end of the month, no show, so I stopped praying. On the 1st of December, my husband called to say he got the visa. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And she said that surprisingly, mm. they sent it to him 28th November, wow. but never saw it until 1st December. Wow. I thank God for this breakthrough because I thought he would be refused. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. My God. Um, your testimony looks powerful, mm. um, but I'm not excited that when the month ended and you didn't hear from them you stopped praying that means that you praying to god was not out of love it was out of business and he did his part on 28th only that you didn't see then you showed him that it's not about prayer it's about what you wanted from him my sister for the lord have mercy
Um, I pray that you change your mind and your approach towards prayer. Amen. And the Lord will honor you. Amen. We don't only pray for things. We pray for fellowship. We pray for growth. We pray for maturity. And um, these things begin to follow. I plead with you that if, all, if anybody too has such mentality, uh, may God help you to change that mindset. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We thank the Lord who fulfilled his word thank you, Jesus. and um, gave you the visa at the end of the month. Yes, but I pray that you also change your heart and mind Amen. towards prayer Amen. and towards God. All right, let's flow. My God. Number two, my daughter wasn't working. And in one of the episodes, Papa said, dance around the child that cannot walk. My daughter had passed one year old, but she wasn't working. I danced around her, and the next day, pe, my daughter made her first step. Hey, I was in shock and scary. God has done it. The power of thanksgiving, it can never be overemphasized. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, uh, much, much worship night will be coming very soon. Three, my husband and I have been going through a lot in every area of our lives since he joined me in 2022. Six months after he arrived, he was diagnosed with diabetes. Hey, I asked God why? Because we were always fighting. Things were very bad for us. And then he's sick. No way. I started praying, but his second test showed his HbA1c is going higher. And if he's not careful, he will go on insulin. Jesus. It broke us. One time, I cried to God and said, God, I decided not to fornicate, so I did the right thing by marrying. Are you going to watch me suffer with my children while I lose my husband to this sickness? Fast forward, he went to see the doctor, a different doctor, and she gave him some medication. And to our surprise, his sugar started dropping within a few days. So I was like, you know what? If this sugar has gone down, then it's not the medication. It is God. During this period, I used to listen and dance with Thanksgiving songs. As I type this, my husband does not take the medications anymore and he's fine. He eats anything and everything and he's well. Sugar levels are normal. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you have done for this lady and for her family. Lord, we say thank you. That that, that child who took her first step after mother danced around her. Uh, such a child will operate by the wings of praise. Uh, any, anything she needs on earth, all that she has to do is to praise the Lord. She's going to have it. Share the link, oh, share the link. What God cannot do does not exist. I met a friend who has one child and has been infertile for nine years. She was on fertility treatment and I was the one giving her the injections. I brought her case to the altar. God being so good, she got pregnant and has given birth to triplets. Wow. God is good. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Number two, God of our power has delivered me from painful menstruation. Wow. I'm so grateful to God. If I have a very short but powerful one year as wow. we end. Good morning, sir. Share the link. God has done it. God has given me another testimony. I was diagnosed with hepatitis B in 2013. Miraculously, I got my healing after praying on this holy altar. I'm so grateful to God for what he has done for me. My God. My God. After nine years. Triplets. After nine years. Triplets. After nine years. Triplets after nine years, a radius of swa and cra tree at Wabomo. A radia da was a radia da was and look at appetitis be disappearing. Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give you the glory. Shed a link right now. Shed a link right now. Shed a link right now. Shed a link. Shed a link. In 
see that image you are coming with the image you are coming with the image for time is the kingdom the power and the glory
last the Lord of my soul. And all oh, that is within me, but his holy name. Radabashana Rabasha, a record and a basharaba, a marabasha, a record and a basharaba, a melecatusa, a lacatarabasha, a racatarabasha, a racatarabasha, a racatarabasha, a racatarabasha, a deliberate, a record and a raha. Imande Kotoria, Arakatarabasha, and Marabaraba, and Marabaraba, and Marabaraba. It is the last day, it's the last night. Lift up your voice, Rabba Sharaba, and Rakaraba, and Marabaraba, and Rakaraba. What can't God do in a weekend like this? What can the Lord do? Randaba Sharaba, and Rakatarabasha, and Marabasha, and Rakatarabasha, and Marabasha, and Rakatoria, and Rakaparia, and the Beleka, and Lakataraba, and Malakata. Thank you, my God, give him glory, for this is the day the Lord has made. Begin to rejoice in the day, for God is about to do. All that he has promised that he will do, the Lord is about to do. All that he has promised that he will do, it is a great day it is a great day it is a great day let his name be exalted let his name be exalted radaba sharaba em marabara baraba em marabara and the bokaba em mandaba kalia alia konsada adaba kabele adam beleka arega dadana and the bosaba em marabara shaya arebo dosha em marabara shaya and the bakaba men naraba sha and the baraba ala kandia ala katarana ala katarana and the Bakaba, the Malabasha, the Lakatoria, the Rebodosa, and the Balaka, the Malakata, the Lakata, the Lakata, the Lakata, the Lakata, the Dabaka Belakata, the Rekatana, the Lakatana, the Lushandaba, the Marabashanda. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. The Marabashaya, and the Bakabaria, and the Rabashana Rabana, the Marabashana Raba, the Marabashana Raba, the Marabashana. in the name of Jesus. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I am the redeemed of the Lord. And I am anointed to witness Jesus all the days of my life. And I am anointed to witness Jesus all the days of my life. And so shall it be. And so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ah, I will Amen. 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 And that is your prayer. I am anointed to be a witness of Jesus, and so shall it be. Yes, every aspect of your life will witness Jesus. Every aspect, not only your mouth, your your academics, your health, everything will witness Jesus. Lift up your voice. People will look at you and say Jesus exists. People will look at you and say Jesus is alive. People will look at you and say Jesus is loving. People will look at you and say Jesus is good. People will look at you and say Jesus is merciful. People will look at you and say Jesus is kind. Somebody declare, I am a witness of Jesus. I am a witness of Jesus. I am a witness of Jesus. No devil can stop me. No devil can stop me. So shall it be. Radaba Shandaraba. Share the link right now. Share the link right now. Be a witness. Share the link right now. Be a witness. Share the link right now. Be a witness. Share the link right now. Radaba Shadabaraba. And Marabaraba. And Marabaraba. And Dabakamea. And Reketanaba. And Manda Surya. And Dabakuria. And 
Somebody declare my witness. Somebody declare my witness. In the name. Jesus. I receive the grace. Oh, somebody shout a loud and clear. I receive the grace to commit to that which is needful. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can receive grace to commit to that which is needful. He said, As for us, we will give ourselves unto prayer. That means that when it comes to prayer, we don't receive prayer. We give ourselves to prayer. So prayer does the receiving. And to this thing about I'm going to collect prayer. So being so say, I give myself to prayer. And to the, he, he said, from today, we will not serve tables. We will give ourselves unto prayer and to the ministry of the word to the ministry of the word he didn't say to the ministry of the saints because the bible has spoken of the ministry of the saints so he was not talking about ministering to people he said that to the ministry of the word one day i will explain this to you what do here that's what we are talking about at least yeah I, I i i i last time i was telling you people i don't see myself as anointed but i do the needful and because of the needful i do i've seen this hand laid on people and they have come to testify strange things because the needful is to pray it's not to walk about as do i'm the super anointed the needful is to pray listen you are going to lift up your voice that lord i receive the grace to commit to the needful in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. I receive grace for the need for. I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace for the need for. I receive grace for the need for i receive grace for the need for receive it right now may god give you the grace to commit to that which is good may the lord give you grace to commit to that which is right may the lord give you grace to commit to that which is okay of Jesus. If you have not shared the link, you have not done well. Declare this loud and clear. I am the redeemed of the Lord. The, Lord. the life of God in me will sustain destinies around me. They will count it. They will count it a blessing connected to me. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout again. They will count it a blessing connected to me. In the name of Jesus. The life of God in you will begin to sustain oh, destinies oh, to a point that everybody around you will count it a blessing amen. connected to you yeah ready and quite woman a bell crash a break coming with you i feel we'll be our back i say you didn't shut up 
Say what name in them? And we get a becca, Ukunu becca, or my becca, we are four becca, and now for four becca. Say, Nipa, we are Nini Namide, a shroud. That is your prayer that everybody will count it a blessing connected to your life. Lift up your voice. Everybody will call themselves blessed. Everybody will call themselves blessed. Connected to your destiny. Everybody will call themselves blessed. In the name of Jesus, let midnight incantations and curses, let's midnight incantations and curses. against my habitation or working environment. Against my habitation or working environment. Scatana. Scatana. In the name of Jesus. And I don't know me. And the past original, every particular place be done. Editia baby, I want it. And I baby, I hear drama. We just should be my free nacro. We move in my own quasi asem. Lift up your voice. Rada ba shara ba. Imara ba shara ba. Emba ba ba ba. Emara ba ba. Emara ba ba. Emara ba ba. Emara ba ba. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Ada ba kampela. Aka demela ka. Aka. In Taraba Shandaraba, and Baraba Shandaraba, and Manda Kadaraba, or Karaba Shire, a Rebeda de Basha, a Manta Kadir, and La Kataya, and Marakata, share the link right now, share the link right now. Evil incantations rising right now against your life at midnight, Raka Tarabasha, against your workplace in Taraba Shire, against your place of Abu, Rabba Sharaba, let it scatter, let it scatter by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We scatter. We start tight. Evil incantation, evil curses that is going on right now. And Katarabasha, any fetish priest that has risen at midnight, any wicked person that has risen at midnight, mentioning your name in Katarabasha, in Kalabashaya, making incantations. They scatter, they scatter, they scatter, they scatter, they scatter. Anybody who has gone for charm, waking up at night to work incantations, Radabasha. They scatter by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. My God, share the link right now. Share the link right now. My God. My God, something is about to happen. Share the link. Shedeling, 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 shedeling. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Um, share it on your status, share it in a group. God bless you. Go to YouTube, share the link. Why won't somebody get connected to Alpha through you? Why shouldn't somebody do that through you? Put on your status. Put on your status. Share on your Facebook timeline. Do this and God will honor you. Do this and God will honor you. Isaiah 43, verse 1. Isaiah 43, verse 1. Uh, Isaiah 43 verse number one. But now tells yet the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee. So you see, there is creation, there is formation, there is redemption. For I have redeemed thee, and there is calling. I have called thee by thy name. At the end, thou will be mine. Amen. Thou art mine. So you see, he gave you the whole process. Creation is the realm of the spirit. That's Genesis chapter 1. Formation is Genesis chapter 2, when he picked the dust of the ground to form you. And then redemption is when you sinned and he saved you. And then calling is when he made you your own and has called you into the destiny you find yourself in. And at the end, you are his child. You have, he has made you his. So you should know that there is no contention about the fact that you are a child of God. Verse 2. Hmm. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, 
and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee when thou walkest through the fire thou shalt not be burned neither shall the flame kindle upon thee so where did you redeem me from because redemption has to do with being enslaved and then you bring me out you made me your own and then the next verse is when thou passed through the waters i will be with thee not if thou if is conditional so if it is if it means that it's possible it cannot happen it is possible it may happen but he said i will call you mine the next thing is when that means all that is mine passes through this process all that is mine passes through the waters the river the fire and the flames i don't know if i should break it down again i'm a child of god i can never suffer thou art mine when so the common denominator of all children of god is when the time when they are all passed through the fire the water the fire will roast you because nobody eats raw meat the waters will wash you because nobody eat dirty food so if your life will be consumable by the world it must be roasted and if it will be consumable it must be washed so there is a need for the passing through the waters and there is a need for the passing through the fires because people only consume what has passed through fire if it is a fruit it must pass through water if it is um, a meat it must pass through fire that is why when jesus was being represented as the passover lamb in exodus 14 he said that don't eat the meat raw roast it in fire that is why you didn't eat jesus raw you ate his roasted version where is his roasted version whatever you believe in jesus before he died can save you it is after he was roasted on the cross that is where salvation comes from him so he said don't eat the passover lamb until it has been roasted so all the life of jesus before he died can save if all you know is that he walked on water and you believe he walked on water he walking on water won't save you it is when he was roasted on the cross that will save you listen the best part of you that the world can consume is the part that brought you tears when when and then you know redeemed to pass through the fire redeemed. <laughs> redeemed to pass through the waters and the fire and then the promise there the when means that everybody will pass through it can i tell something everybody you meet has an issue the difference is how we respond to the issues some of them laugh about it some of them complain about it some cry about it so our response is what gives it a different picture but actually everybody is passing through his when every child of god you meet is dealing with something that is why when somebody shows you kindness appreciate the person a double that doesn't mean the person is not going through anything it only means the person has ignored his fire to help quench your fire life there is nobody who is free there is nobody like that when you go into the secret archives of people you realize that what they have been, they have been through and what they are going through you can't compare yours to them but sometimes you cry too much that they have to put theirs aside and try to help you and make you feel like they are okay but they are not everybody goes through a when unfortunately it was not if 
is when and to be a victim will be a fence you now so the promise is that i am with thee i am with thee so that nobody will have the earth foundry to say that god has rejected me no if you can't see him it doesn't mean he's not around everybody who encounters his when will encounter the god in the when in fact you will not know your god much until your when shows up the when you are passed through fire and the when you are passed through waters but it all leads to an end and that end was revealed in psalm 66 verse 12 Matobia Tonashkana. All the when ends in Isaiah Psalm 66, verse 12. Thou hast caused men to write over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. Thou hast made men write over our heads this part isaiah didn't add it but david added it uh, your when will come with when other men uh, you are giving to other men to handle you and some of them call you names some of them mock you some of them attack you some of them make a public ridicule of you some of them will do it is a season of your when when no matter what you try somebody's leading you and somebody is abusing you and you can't do much about it you pray is the same you fast is the same in your when we don't fast it out we don't pray out our when we pray to receive grace to walk with jesus in our when the bible says that when jesus prayed he said i wish that you cast this cup away from me but lord let your will be done and bible says he was strengthened to go through his when and after he went through the fire of the cross today he was he's given a name that is above every name i'm talking to somebody right now Jesus. who has been redeemed and you are in your when season you are passing through a fire and you are passing through some waters that is refining you and refreshing you but you can't see it all you see is pain but you can't see the refining and the Lord says I should tell you your end he said but thou brought us out into a wealthy place the Hebrew for that wealthy place there means satisfaction saturation a place where you would now judge everything right he said that when you go through fire and water god takes you to a worldly place and the definition of that worldly place is a place where you realize that everything about you has been perfected you become sat a place of satisfaction a place of overflow abundance all things are well that is the realm all things are well the running over the realm of satisfaction. Only him say, "Nyamit me the free a gem." Afe na okon doja. Free said the the jana ye wono. Afe okon do. Saying, "Esa baby me." Okon do saying so he be baby. I'm telling you, there are I found people who who after they get their testimonies, they begin to say, "Thank God that I went through this." Thank God. That's the meaning of the worldly place. Satisfaction. And you are not just satisfied by what you got, but you are, you are satisfied by what you became out of the things you have gone through. You are redeemed into your wealthy place. But you see, you have to learn to walk through the fire and walk through the water. And um, David said, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil. And he said that when you go through the fire, I will be with you. Listen, um, somebody will be saying, so are all problems from God? No, there are demonic problems. There are demonic problems. Yes, those ones are not from God. And there are permitted challenges. 
those ones are challenges not from God, but He has permitted them. Not from Him, but He has permitted them. And that one, how you will know is that I will be with you. In the fire, I'll be with you. In the river, I'll be with you. In the water, do I walk through the valley of the shadow? The Lord is with me. This is the sign. When a challenge draw you closer to God, you will know that this challenge is a permitted challenge. 12 a.m. a hand will wake you up to pray. The hand will never take away the problem. It keeps waking you up to pray. You should know such a problem has got to do with the Lord. Mm. It matures you in it. It is the reason why you started going to church. It's the reason why you started knowing God. It's a sign that this is a when season. This is a when season. But when your challenge takes you to hell, it's taking you to the shrine. It cannot be a when. Because a when season, God walks with you. God is going to walk with people tonight. God is going to walk with people tonight. Listen, you are going to receive the grace to walk with God in whatever season you find yourself in. And then he will lead you to that worthy place. He will lead you to that worthy place. He will lead you to that. That grace is falling on people. That grace is falling on people. That grace is falling on people. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Have I spoken to somebody today? But the problem is, we need say it is into a wealthy place. In the amount of domain ready, we do a while in soon or name we need we need say it 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 threatening. It's refreshing. It's cleaning. We do a the fire is going to. It doesn't know it's refining. But he said, when? Please remember, you are his, even in the fire. Thou art mine. The next thing is when you. Thou art mine. The next thing is when you. None of us is rejected. Be careful. Be careful when you decide to mock somebody in a challenge. Because the seal of his mind is still on his forehead. He may be going through depth, but the seal of his mind is still upon him. He may be going through a challenge, a failure, academic failure, but the seal of his mind is still upon him. He's going through the fire of financial crisis, but the seal of his mind is still upon him. Obikra go through marital divorce, but the seal of his mind is still upon him. So never judge somebody who is in the fire as though he has been rejected by the Lord. He is mine. The next thing is when he. That means anybody that is mine will go through something. Father, your grace to walk. He <laughs> said, when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Everybody is going through something. But to see, at the end, he will set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My God, you are his. You will go through fire. At the end, you will end in your wealthy place. Amen. A redeemed of the Lord is receiving grace tonight. To walk through the fire, the waters, Amen. until they are taken to their wealthy place. Amen. Somebody shout, I receive that grace. I receive that grace. I receive that grace. Lift up your voice. You are not rejected. You are not rejected, oh. You are not rejected, oh. You are not rejected, oh. And the Abba Shadaba, and Marabaraba, 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 and Bakuria, Redebe Sharaba, Imaraba Shaya, Handa Kadaraba, Handa Kandaraba, Handa Kadaraba, Handa Kadaraba, Handa Kadaraba, Handa Kadaraba, Handa Kandaraba, Handa Kandaraba, Hemanda Kadaraba, Handa Kadaraba, Hemara Kadaraba, Imara Kadaraba, Hulu Sharaba, that grace is falling, that grace is falling, that grace is falling, that grace is falling, Hadaba Shanaraba, Hala Kandera, Helaba Shanaraba, that grace is falling, Radaba Sharaba, Hela Kadarabasha, you will not turn back. 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 In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. I am I'm seeing somebody with a medical report, Jesus. whether H B B C something, that a report around it is is not good, and you have lifted it up before the Lord. I declare grace upon your life. Amen. There shall be an overturning. 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 Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I pray for anybody Jesus. whom what you are going through Jesus. is not a demonic attack, Jesus. but it is your when with your walk with God, Jesus. and you have to pass through a fire and a water. Jesus. I pray the grace to run with God in that realm, Amen. the grace to run with God in that realm, Amen. the grace, the power, the, the capacity, Amen. the tenacity to run with God in that realm. Amen. Receive it right now. 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 Receive Save it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Shall you will not go down? God is giving you grace. God is giving you grace. God is giving you grace. God is giving you grace in the name of Jesus. My God, let's hear some testimonies and return back for some fire prayers. We have some mega testimonies here, but before I read, I'd like to give out the testimony lines. Our fairies, let's send our testimonies. Via Telegram and WhatsApp to 0548-695-731, 0548-695-731, or 0592-748-953, 0592-748-953. Share your testimonies. Share your testimonies. Send your testimonies now. Share it. All right. My testimony is long overdue. Every day with God is yes, every, every day, day in victory. victory. I joined Alpha Hour sometime last year. My friend Mami Abna introduced me. God bless you, Mami Abna. Amen. I'm a Nigerian living in the US. I initially joined so as to keep my faith and prayer life stronger. I was also in the second trimester of my pregnancy. I had to stop working as I was severely ill. My husband, became our only source of financial support. We also have two little girls, toddlers. We became financially unstable with lots of debts, including house rent, car insurance, credit card debts, and unable to afford three square meals. All these while still very ill. I still find the courage to always join our father. Some days I'm not strong enough to pray. I just leave my phone beside me and listen with my eyes closed. During one of the episodes, the man of God instructed us to ask for unexplainable testimony. I wasn't sure what to ask for. I just prayed for strength and healing to get back on my feet. While I lay in bed that night, something, something spoke to me saying, why not pray concerning your husband's pending accident court case? So this was in 2020. My husband was driving and got hit by a speedy driver. He sustained minor injuries and the car was right off. So he, so he sued for the injuries and car damaged the next man. At first, we got response from the lawyers and all of a sudden, they stopped communicating. Even when he calls, it's a story or another. So we gave up and forgot about the issue and saved up to buy another car. As years went by and no response. So I prayed that Thursday night, November 2023, and said, God, please let us get a response concerning the case and let it be in our favor for reimbursement so we can pay some of these bills. To my greater surprise, the next day, Chief of the next day, uh, which is Friday, uh, my husband came to me at noon and said, the lawyer for the accident case just called me and said, they are reaching a settlement with an offer for $20,000. Wow. But she wants to confirm for me if I'm okay with it or they should fight for more. I said, what? Please tell her we are okay with it. And he, said, <laughs> and he told her so. She said, okay, I'll give you a call back. That night, I went on my knees and returned all glory to God. A case with no response since 2020. No, how can this be a coincidence? How can this be a coincidence? 2020 to 2024. You've not heard from the lawyer. 
Thursday, pour your heart. You mention it Friday. There is a call from the Lord. Jesus. Go ahead. The lawyer called back on Monday to say the check had been mailed out and we should be receiving it before the end of that week, which we did. The God of wonders came through for us. And to crown my testimony, I asked God for healing and a son since I already have two girls. I was scared as family members were already making fun of it being another girl. Oh, God gave me healing. And both ultrasound and blood work says I'm having a boy. God God never leaves in of a sick those who sincerely serve him. Now I I wait and pray for a safe delivery. Thank you to all the Alpha. The Lord will give you a safe delivery. In the name of the Lord Jesus. People of God, don't just clap something and go. Let's intentionally give glory to Jesus. Clap your hands and give him glory. Clap your hands and give him glory. Clap your hands wherever you are, wherever you are listening to me. Clap your hands and give Jesus thank glory. You see, some people's cases are emergency. Pregnant woman who can't afford three square meal. A family can't afford three square meal. That was an emergency. And Jesus solved it under 24 hours. Just whispered. I say in pain you grow into me mobi, or da ho she keke, and I say push she wakume go, and the area me moa bumpe a moa bushi afo. Yes, yes. She wakume mugu wa keke. That was it, and see what Jesus has done. Yes, Daddy, Jesus. testimony only means that do it again. Yes, yes, yes. And Lord, yes, yes. I know somebody's case will be settled tonight. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. a family will be settled tonight. Yes. In Jesus' name. All right, let's flow. My definition of testimony is application for more. I salute you, Chief Alferian, and greetings to your able team. Yahweh was my lawyer in the courtroom. 19th February to 22nd February 2024 was a very difficult period in my life. The trial was for four days. I had a court case in the UK and it has been pending since 2018. I was arrested and detained for 19 hours in 2021. I pleaded not guilty in the year 2023 at the magistrate court. The judge said, if I'm not guilty, then the case has to go to Crown Court. The trial began at the Crown Court on 19th February this year. In 2018, I was an illegal immigrant, so out of fear, I contradicted myself by apologizing through WhatsApp messages to the lady I had issue with. She used those messages as a strong evidence against me. On the 20th February, we had finished the day at the court. My barrister told me to dress casually, bring along a backpack and prepare as she thought I would be remanded the next day. I could clearly see that my barrister has joined the accuser's barrister. To a point that, in her closing remarks, she openly agreed with all what the accuser's barrister said. Jesus. <laughs> The next day, I came for cross-examination and it lasted for over two hours. My barrister did not defend me on any of my evidence and the reason was the lady is vulnerable. Because of her actions as a barrister towards my case, she was pretty sure that I would be jailed. The sentence guy... When your own lawyer wants you jailed. When your own lawyer wants you jailed. The sentence guide is six to ten years. The barrister told me she will plead to the judge to minimize the sentence. I boldly told her I am not going to jail. <laughs> your, your lawyer is negotiating jail time with you. <laughs> I boldly told her I am not going to jail. Anyway, I wasn't remanded as she predicted two times. Mm. On the 22nd February, we went to the court for the verdict. To God be the glory. Alpha wa nyame ye nyame. The 12 member jury together with the judge. 12 member jury. Judge is 12. Okay. 
together with the judge, all found me not guilty. Hey! I have almost given up my life. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, the words are visible. What is always tangible? No one can doubt you. Yahweh invisible. What your words are visible. What you do is tangible. No one can doubt you. Yahweh invisible, but your words are visible. What you do is tangible. No one can doubt you. Oh, Yahweh, you are you are twelve Jewish. Of juries, your own lawyer didn't speak for you, yet the God of our father defended this young man. And at case of 2018 to 2024, how many years? Six years has been overturned. There is there is a testimony I think they have to play. One of the Fridays, somebody came to testify. There was an issue, and she went to report herself at the police station. And then the police um, woman told her that I'll send you a jazz number. And then she went home, and at 12 a.m., the police woman sent her a link. And she clicked the link. She thought it was a link to the church number, but he realized it was prayer. He closed, he closed it after some days. The police woman kept sending it. Then she went back to the police station and said, But I thought you were giving me a jazz number. The police woman, that's the number. <laughs> that's the number. And I'll let you I'll let you listen to what happened in the testimony. Yes, when she finally agreed to join under one week, case was turned around. And so the case that has been over on her for years was turned around because somebody gave her the jazz number. The jazz number is a 12 a.m. link. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you have to maybe on Monday you have to find that testimony and play it for them why God all right how far every day with God yes every day in victory pastor Elvis my God I am the lady that the Lord keeps showing mercy I was offered a job with an Australian based company in Ghana here on a Sunday afternoon <laughs> Sunday afternoon. Some of them got a job on a Sunday okay. afternoon. Wow. Me say, me say, Saturday. Yeah. 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 Me say, a Saturday. Yeah. Me say, Enne Saturday. Ocha Sunday. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And she said that I have no experience in the mining sector. Oh. I was made the head, hey. Pastor Elvis. Hey. How possible? Oh. If not God working behind the scene. Wow. 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 I met the GM today to discuss my compensation, wow. which is above six thousand hey. dollars. I am here to say, hey, God, you have blown Jesus. my mind. <laughs> yes, Lord. Wow. God, you have blown my mind. I didn't know you favor me this way. Hmm. Thank you for your obedience to God, Pastor Elvis, and in mercy for your staffer support for this vision and the Ayat team. God bless you all. I will honor my covenant with God as I start with a new role soon. Fellow Alfarians, the God who opened the Red Sea and brought down the walls of Jericho is still in the business of doing wonders. He will come through for you. Keep trusting Him. 6,000 US dollars salary was discussed on a Sunday I tell you that Jesus is real and is alive there will be no unemployed person on this altar the Lord will find your space for you the Lord will find your space for you the Lord will find your space for you, space for you. in Jesus name my God with God is every day in victory and power. 
Greetings to Chief Alfarian, Lady Mercy, the Aya team, and all fellow Alfarians. Right now, I'm seeing a young boy. A young boy, he's foaming, he's dying. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God visit the boy now. Let the power of God visit the boy now. Let the power of God visit the boy now. Let the power of God visit the boy now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command you, spirit of death, leave this boy now. I have seen the boy hold his tummy and he is foaming. I command you, leave the boy now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you that you have restored life. In Jesus' name. Amen. God has been truly faithful. Our son developed umbilical hernia a month after he was born. We spoke to the doctor and he advised that due to the size, we would need to have surgery to fix it. They have booked an appointment with the surgeons for June 2024 for them to have a look and decide if they will operate or wait till it turns two years. I prayed on the altar and used point of contact water on the area and our Alpha God has done what he does best. Our healing miracle has taken place without the need of a medical intervention. God has healed and perfected the umbilical cord with no excess skin showing. Truly, we serve a living God and let everyone say, Thank you, Jesus. No, yes, yes. Everybody, 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 everybody. If you can, lift up your hands and say, Thank you, Jesus. If you can, type it everywhere and say, Thank you, Jesus. Strange testimonies. Strange testimonies. The child has been booked for surgery in June. See, the thing has disappeared. The thing has disappeared. Here, Rati. Do you know what it means if you are the mother of this child or if you are the father of this child? Do you know what you will feel from now to June? Do you know what the parent will go through? And I would have any samples, I know. I would have that was you. Listen, if you are not watching, go to YouTube, go and watch. Go to Facebook, go and watch. God is doing mighty things. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Surgery cancelled. Listen, the power, the reason why we share testimony is that everybody under a, a certain um, challenge around this testimony too, Jesus. you have every possibility yes. of receiving your own now. Amen. Somebody's surgery will be cancelled in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. All right. Glory be to God. I am the lady God has shown me mercy. God healed my son from surgery of appendix. I was surprised. First day will be exactly two weeks. After I picked my seven-year-old son from, I'm sure from school, he started vomiting tried to send him to a nearby pharmacy. He started vomiting. I quickly sent him to a nearby clinic. After administer of medicine, my boy went off quickly. The doctor need to try, okay. My boy went off quickly. The doctor need to transfer my son to UGMC. He was quickly sent to the emergency ward. Run a lab test in the morning. The doctor said it is appendix. He must be operated. My son was going through pain. Quickly, I started praying, sowing my seed. After my son was transferred to the surgical ward, preparing him, Kai. preparing him for surgery. I went behind the building, praying. The doctor checked and said, "Let's monitor him again." Finally, my son was stable. He was cancelled for the surgery. To so God be the glory. Pastor Elvis, the mercy of the prayer team. May the Lord continue to protect you all. Jesus. Jesus. The boy has been prepared to surgery. Theater. Doctor said, let's wait a little. If we wait, why did you take him there? Let's wait a little. At that time, my meeting a whole bomb pie. 
You know the funny thing. But see, Jota can't say, say, Jah, she sold the seed. I'm up for your wando. The wando so see, why I'm so seed last night? <laughs> 12 a.m. me bomb pie over offer well so the dear crack or two theater they were so seated <laughs> but the lord wanted to prove that he honest sacrifices right there case was settled and he said it's been two weeks boy is free we give jesus the glory my god all right everybody will move there yeah that was Share the link, oh, share the link. I am the one the Lord has shown me mercy. Every day with God is yes, every, every day, day in victory. victory. I'm pa right. Chief Alferian, the testimonies are more, but I'll share a few of them. Okay. Number one, masturbation of over nine years broken. Thank you, Jesus. Number two, uncontrollable lust and sleeping with different women stopped. Thank you, Jesus. Number three, bedwetting for more than 27 years has stopped. Thank you, Jesus. Number four, I have been baptized with the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Number five, my spiritual life has increased without limitations. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Number six, God has blessed me with a beautiful woman. Wow. And we are happily married wow. and expecting a baby soon. More they blessings are, are coming They are expecting your baby. They are expecting their baby. Wow. After womanizing wow. to lasting and um, nine years of masturbation, everything, bedwetting for 27 years, everything turns around. You see how God is changing lives, changing destiny. We give you the glory. My God. And he said he has received the, the, the language of the Spirit. He has been baptized with the Holy Spirit. Woo! My TVB say, and now myself, they do me. Then the I give you glory, sir. All right, let's go. Alpha, every day with God is every day in victory indeed. God has done it all. He has healed me from pals, which, according to my mom, has been there from birth. Wow. So since childhood, I have been suffering from it till recent age of 19. At first, oh God, to eject was a problem, because as soon as the first pass comes out, the rest is blood. For medications, daddy, I'm even tired of them. But to God be the glory, I can now eject without any problem. I give God all the glory. In fact, daddy, this miracle makes me believe that indeed, there is God. There is God. There is God. There is God. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you the glory. 19 years pals crushed by the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God has done it. Every day with God. Is, is this your last one? Yes. All right. Every day with God. It is every day in victory. I'm pa my God. I sent my testimony in September last year, but it wasn't read. This forgive is a continuation. Us, forgive us, forgive us. This is a continuation of what God has done. Ah, uh young -huh. kind, then a continuation. I feel you're kind in your So when I got to the UK to join my husband, by God's grace. That means the first one is you joined the, uh, your husband at the UK. All right. It was so difficult for me. As I got a warehouse job and I had to quit, and I didn't have a job after that for months because I started having back pains. It used to bring arguments in my marriage. My husband and I were mostly arguing. There was so much tension at home. But in all this, I used to be consistent and kept and kept praying on Alpha Hour. And kept praying on Alpha Hour to God for an administration job. I tried so many times. But I always got rejected. So I managed to get a domiciliary care job where I would work like eight locations a day to take care of old people with special needs. It was so difficult and I almost gave up till I decided to watch our fire. Much worship nights this morning because I couldn't do it at dawn and God has done it. Wow. wow. I was on my break when my manager called me and said, that they were going to change my role to an administrative role wow. in the care company wow. and that i'll start my training tomorrow and i'm so happy 
because I always pray to God for a miracle to do something administrative. I have come to say thank you, Jesus, and give God all the praise. Whilst doing the worship, whilst doing the worship, the miracle happened. Whilst worshiping in the morning, the miracle happened. Somebody's miracle will happen. Somebody's miracle. That's why when you miss 12 a.m., go to YouTube and play it in the day. Play it again in the day. Don't just let go. Play it again in the day. Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give. Come on, give Jesus the glory. Thank Him. 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 He's about to do it for your family. 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 In the name of Jesus, share the link right now. 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 All right, let's pray. My God, my Father, my Father, let people show me favor I don't deserve. Let people show me favor I don't deserve. I carry the fragrance of acceptance everywhere. I carry the fragrance of acceptance everywhere. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That is why you are the redeemed of the Lord. Let the Lord cause people to show you favor everywhere. And you are declaring that I carry the fragrance of acceptance as I walk about the Radi Manipa Enya 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 Mini Matum Mamina Ni Penny Matum Baby Ame Febia Baby Ame Febia Radi Mayen Chimin That is your prayer and to us in the Bible says and Jesus had favor with God and with men. Woe unto you if God has favor with you and he does not make men have favor with you you will have god as a product but nobody will buy because god must have favor with you and then men must also have favor with you do you know the number of people who are running a god agenda but nobody is patronizing because they have not yet have favor before men you are lifting up your voice and see the fragrance of acceptance is going ahead of me lift up your voice Favor is going ahead of you. Favor is going ahead of you. You will be accepted. You will be accepted. You will be accepted. The fragrance of acceptance, the fragrance of acceptance. I declare your year the acceptable year. I declare your year the acceptable year. Yes, you have entered into the acceptable season. You have entered. Yes, the man who must marry you will accept you. The woman who must marry you will accept you. Hey, an employer is accepting you. In ministry, you are accepted. In that family, you are accepted. Your parents are accepting you. The fragrance of acceptance. The fragrance of acceptance. Your lecturers are accepting you. You will enter the embassy. You will be accepted. Nations are accepting you. Territories, marketplaces. Wherever you enter, you are being accepted. Father, 
in the name of Jesus. All I'm hearing is I, I hear da kwachi, da kwachi, something. I pray it, it has to do with stagnancy. One place, standing at one place. I don't know if he said it's, I'm seeing a person standing at a place and there is stagnancy. I declare from today, it looks like the person is, is the light of his family, but he's not moving now. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, let there be a movement now. Let there be a release into destiny. Let there be a release into destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, declare this loud and clear. Let the evil arrows of sudden stroke. Let the evil arrows of sudden stroke. To cripple anyone in my family return back to the center. To cripple anyone in my family return back to the center. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The arrows of sudden stroke. To cripple anyone in your family. Let it return back. Back to the center, Mr. Bombaye. Bombaye say, and put free moon stroke be a year plan. Say, but to be so well, but see, never put in the park. We used to do the wash. She said, you know, some stroke in the corner. So lift up your voice, rather, and shut up and barabaka baraba and baraka baraba and reka baraba and baraka and raka baraba and baraka baraba and madashka baria to skaba in the name of the Lord. Baria da leka baraba. You are liar, Satan. You are liar, Satan. If a capino see the cabara, if full arrows of sudden stroke, if full arrows of sudden stroke, the person is going to sleep suddenly. The person is standing suddenly. A gadili gagunde beri katuza, rekodos kalabatum katama, pamila aitekumana. If stroke is good, let the sender receive it. If stroke is good, let the sender receive it. Right now, wherever they are. If they are on their bed, they can't wake up. Whoever sends stroke to any member of your family, Radaba Shandaraba, Ela Katanaba, they take it back, 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 Radaba Shadaraba, Ireke Daraba, Imara Katanaba, Amarekate, Arebusha, Ikeleba Kappa, Imarakata, Arebodosha, Ala Kataraba, I am the redeemer of the Lord. I cannot be striking. Thou, I am the redeem of the Lord. Somebody prophesied, I am the redeem of the Lord. I will not be a victim of sudden stroke. I am the redeem of the Lord. I will not be a victim of sudden stroke. My family will not be a victim of sudden stroke. In the name of Jesus, let evil repulsive order. Spiritually blowing around my life disappear now. In the name of Jesus. Uh, we Americans will call it other. Uh, Africans will call it order. Evil repulsive other. <laughs> my God. Spiritually blowing around my life. Jesus. Mm. Uh, there are some people when you get close to people, they smell death. There is an order and uh, other right, right, right. of death around your life <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Listen, there is fragrances mm. that depict a doom. Mm. Some of you, there are fragrances that depict doom around your life. Um, let me tell you something. Every event can be announced with a scent. Every, in fact, spiritually, events are announced with fragrances. Where if it is good, you, it is a fragrance that will announce it. If it is evil, it is a fragrance that will announce it. So everything about to happen to you, somebody with a sensitive spiritual smelling can smell what is ahead of you. Yeah, because it, um, the, the, the supernatural communicates through sound, through light, through smell. So if you understand any of these three forces, you'll be able to tell what is happening, what has happened, 
and what will be happening and sometimes there are many of you this the other the order around your life <laughs> And then person me abro for some pass so me ketre maso omo ame the order around your life. Ah, mami, 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 mami. The order around your life is telling people that an accident is close. An order around your life can tell somebody that a divorce is close to you. So people, God can bless people with sensitivity, and they can smell you. It, they, they don't smell the perfume on you. They smell another scent that depicts an activity and an event that is about to happen. And you are going to pray that any evil order uh, that has gone ahead of you, uh, let, let the power of God blow it out of your life now. Amen. And can be a soon soon a bon. I try the bonny be a babisi. Oh, bon pie say a young coupon to me. Let it wipe it away now. Lift up your voice. Evil orders. Clap your hands and pray against evil orders. Radaba Sharaba, and Maraba, 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 evil orders. Evil order, evil order, evil order, evil order. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Evil orders, physical, spiritual, evil orders, spiritual, physical, evil sent, spiritual, physically, we rejected, we arrested, Radaba Sharaba, in Nakataraba, we cancel the, the, the announcement it is making, we cancel the announcement it has come to make, we cancel the announcement it has come to make, Radaba Sharaba, in Marabaraba, in Marabaraba, in Marabaraba, in the name of Jesus, we cancel the announcement. Any order and saint has been sent to make. Amen. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are not Jesus. Um, when the three, why uh, the I said uh, the wise men bought the three gift. Yeah, one was gold. One was frank incense and one was mare. Mare is the fragrance used to embellish the dead. So a saint was sent ahead of him at his birth. The mare, the scent, the perfume, mare is a perfume that is used to embalm the dead. And when it was given to a one day year, a one day old child, we had sent a scent ahead of him that you are going to die. My God. So the mayor was a scent to see. So anybody around Jesus that has spiritual sensitivity, that mayor was never to leave his body. So anybody around him will smell it as a sign that there is a painful death ahead of this man. There are scents around you that spiritual people can smell and know that you, you don't have a long life. You, you don't have a good marriage. You, you, you don't have a very healthy life. You, you don't have, no, they can smell it. But you see, the Lord. That is why, that is why the Bible says the sacrifice of Jesus is a sweet smelling fragrance for you. So as for you, the scent around your life must be the smell of the sacrifice of Christ that speaks eternal life, that speaks healing, that speaks redemption, that speaks deliverance. Am, am I here with the church at all? So there is no other scent permitted. With the days of Jesus, his frankincense and his mare were permitted. But to our day, only the fragrance of his sacrifice is permitted around us. Nothing else is permitted. That is why when Isaac wanted to bless Jacob, he smelled him. Scent, scent is a mystery. If you allow the devil to project an evil scent on you, he hasn't just projected a fragrance, he has projected an event, you will suffer for it. And from today, satanic smells, satanic odors, satanic fragrances, I resist them in your life right now. I reject them in your life right now. 
I reject them in your life right now. In the name of Jesus. Shout this loud and clear. I am the redeemed of the Lord. Let my name enter areas restricted to me. Let my name enter areas restricted to me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it again. Areas demonically marked. Areas demonically marked. As no go area for my influence. As no go area for my influence. I opened now. In the name of Jesus, in my, the name of God. Jesus. my God, let my name enter areas restricted to me and let my influence enter areas that are marked. No go area for this person. Uh, do you know that your pastoral calling there are territories that has been marked? No go area. business away, and there are areas marked. No go area. Yeah, and there are some people, there are only a group that patronize you, a particular group never patronize you because it's a no-go area for your influence around that area. Yeah, you have a school, you realize that only a group comes, another group is not coming. And there has been a, a territory that has been marked for your influence, no-go area, but resist it. Let the blood of Jesus erase any mark of no-go area. I am the redeemer of the Lord. I enter everywhere. I enter Oh, the Lord's command was going to the world. I, I carry a mandate to go everywhere. I carry the mandate to enter the world. So no go areas are clean and erased. Lift up your voice. Baby Biyashe, say mommy me uraho. Baby Biyashe, say mommy me uraho. The devil is a liar. It's a go area for me. It's a no go area, but today, by the blood, we declare race, 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 somebody shout it's race, somebody shout it's race, I am the redeemer of the Lord, it is erased in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I am the redeemer of the Lord, it is erased in the name of Jesus, I am Elvis. The redeemed of the Lord. The redeemed of the Lord. Let my name go ahead of me. Let my name go ahead of me. Let it take dominance for Christ at places my feet has never stepped. Let it take dominance for Christ at places my feet has never stepped. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My God. Ah. Well, John Wesley is still in party life. Ah. <laughs> when he never stepped in Ghana. Mm. There are names, the most dangerous thing is that most of these names are even dead. But their names have entered countries that were created after they died. <laughs> Before they died, the, the country was not created. But their names have entered a country. That was not created before they die. My God, Jesus. you are going to lift up your voice in prayer Jesus. that let my name go ahead of me. Amen. Let it take dominance for Christ. Amen. At places my feet has never stepped. Amen. Amen. Lift up your voice. Why are you not praying? Why are you not praying? Why are you not praying? Somebody will hear your name from afar. Somebody will hear your name from afar. The one who marry you will hear your name from afar. The one who will employ you, they will hear your name from afar. Your destiny partners, your destiny partners, your destiny partners, they will hear your name from afar. Influence in far places. Influence in far places. Influence in far places.
la katuria rada basha na raba raba imba raba sha era gada na raba imba raba 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 raba influence in far places influence in far places influence in far places influence in far places rada basha na imba raba sha imba raba sha imba raba sha in the name of Jesus eh the the place you are going to get a call from it will blow your mind Amen. where you will hear your product is being patronized it will blow your mind Amen. my god i uh, shout it loud and clear i'm the redeemed of the lord, I am the of the lord. nothing dies in my hands in the name of jesus things flourish in my hands they don't die lift up your voice Dash, in the name of Jesus, I declare over you. Pick something in your hands. Let me speak over you. Speak something in your hands. It will not die. It represents your life. Yes, pick pick your family list. Pick your family list. It will not die. This is what God has put in your hands. Listen, listen, in the next one minute, pour your heart, pour your heart on your family, pour your heart on your family. Say things over them, say things over them. Lift up your voice, begin to speak. Say things over them. Nothing dies in your hands. You are the redeemed of the Lord. Nothing dries up in your hands. Nothing becomes vagabond in your hands. Nobody becomes vagabond in your hands. Yes, you are the redeem of the Lord. You are the redeem of the Lord. You are the redeem of the Lord. It is the last night of the week. Pour your heart on it. This is all we are coming to do. Pour your heart on the list. Pour your heart on the list. Have mercy, you. 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 Have mercy you. Lord, mercy. Lord, mercy on the family. Lord, mercy and Abashuriaka, Radabashara, and Abakabaria, Alakadaraba. Oh, mercy on families, Lord, 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 mercy on families. Mercy, 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 divine preservation, divine help, divine establishment, explosion of destinies, explosion of destinies. Nobody will be covered. Nobody will be covered. Nobody will be covered. Lift it up and pray. Lift it up and pray. This is destiny matter. This is destiny matter. This is destiny matter. I won't draw your trosesia, my mamre, trosesia nepeja. Respect prophetic directions. Respect prophetic directions. Lift it up. Radaba shadaba. In Maraba shadaba. In Daraba kurebedaba. In Daraba shariada. In Daraba baba. I present them. 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 Shaka daraba baba. In Maraba baba. In Daraba baba baba. In Maraba shaya. In Daraba. In the name oh jesus if you have an oil anoint the sheet anoint their names anoint their names their names shall be like in oil anointed right now Jesus. 
this list Jesus. will benefit from our 12 a.m. calling Amen. that we wake up every 12 a.m. to pray Jesus. it's time that this list begin to benefit Amen. it's time that this list begin to benefit Amen. it's time that this list begins to benefit Amen. whatever is their challenge Jesus. let the oil be released right now Amen. let the oil be released right now Amen. Let the oil be released right now. Amen. None of them Jesus. will go astray. Amen. I pray Jesus. every list that has been lifted. Jesus. Father, see the toil, Jesus. The, the pain, Jesus. the struggle, Jesus. the challenge Jesus. that families can't even talk about. Lika for repidesh, saitos compra kaila vasa. Let your power begin to visit families now. Let children whose names have been written, let it be said that it was not written in vain. Let it be said that it was not written in vain. Yes, I pray for diseased people whose names have been written strange sicknesses i declare as the oil has touched them let the power of god move from this altar now to be their healing right now in the mighty name of jesus i pray that family businesses will receive life right now i pray that children who have gone astray in the family and have returned have decided not to return again i decree and declare Declare that the Lord restored them back to their families Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We will not hear tears in your family house. Amen. Oh, the next celebration we hear shall be in your home. Amen. The next celebration will be in your home. Amen. The next celebration will be in your home. Amen. The next celebration will be in your home. Amen. The family is anointed to see the glory of God. Amen. Every battle the family is fighting, Jesus. every strong man or woman, Jesus. every demonic entity, Jesus. every principality, witchcraft Jesus. powers in father's house, mother's house, Jesus. that is contending with the family list you have lifted. Jesus. I declare that may the Lord end their existence. Jesus. May the Lord end their existence. Jesus. We decree that the power of God will rise against the forces Jesus. that are against this family. Jesus. I declare it done. Jesus. Prominence over your family. Jesus. Influential people are coming up. Amen. People who have no hope. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Suddenly their testimonies and miracles are springing up. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen, Amen. mark every name you wrote. Jesus. From now to the end of the year. They will call you and give a testimony. Amen. And they will say, ah, I don't know how it happened. Yes. But you will know where it started from. Yes, 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 yes. You will know that you place their name on an altar. Yes. You will know you place their name on the altar. Yes. Let the oil, Jesus. Jesus. let this oil remain on the list. Amen. And put it somewhere precious. Yes, yes. Because very soon, Jesus. they will come one after the other. Yes. To tell you what the Lord has done. Amen. They will come one after the other. Amen. Yes, those looking for children, they will Amen. come and tell you they are pregnant. Amen. They will come one after the other. Amen. Those looking for husbands, wives, Jesus. they will come and tell you their wedding dates. They will come one after the other. Amen. Those who don't have a job will start shouting with their authority. Amen. They will come one after the other. Amen. Those who are not born again will come saying that I've given my life to Jesus. Amen. They will come one after the other. Amen. Those who have been addicted. Jesus will come back and say, I smoke no more. Amen. I do not go after women anymore. Amen. They will come back. Amen. Those in prison will call you and say that I've received Jesus. a pardon. Amen. Yes, yes, the Lord is going to do it. Amen. Family properties are restored right Amen. now. Every evil altar that was built against this list Jesus. will set the altars on fire. Amen. I declare it done. Amen. In 
Jesus' name. Amen. Every chronic sickness that runs through the family, Jesus. I command it dead now. Amen. Every arrow that runs through the family, Jesus. I set them on fire. Amen. You are clothed in glory. Amen. Your family is clothed in glory. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Now speak over your seed and your offerings. Speak over. Listen. Listen. I instruct you. I told you there are days I instruct. I instruct you. Sow a seed on your family. Raise an altar for your family. Everybody under summer voice. Raise an altar for your family. Now speak over it. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Father, the seed of prominence. Amen. The altar Jesus. that will bend day and night. Jesus. We set on fire. Amen. Families. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. All right, 26, 25, 61. Momo pay 26, 25, 61. Uh, Momo number 0597393440. I know what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, yes. Sacrifice for your family. Self and the particular thing you want to see, Jesus. speak over that sacrifice. Zero five nine seven three nine three four four zero. Zero five nine seven three nine three three eight three. Zero five nine seven three nine three three eight three. Zero five zero six five nine seven five four two. Zero five zero six five nine seven five four two. Please. I'm only instructing, but it's a willing sacrifice. Yes. If you don't, if I, it doesn't resonate in your spirit, yes. don't do it. Yes. But as many of you that it resonates, do it and trust God for it. Um, those outside the country, your numbers are there. Um, Zell PayPal is there. God Richie bless you. If you are not born again, lift up the family list. If any of them is not born again, you are going to pray. Say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus thank you that you died. Thank you that you died. And you rose up on the third day. And you rose up on the third day. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my Forgive sins. the sins of my family. Forgive the sins of my Wash family. us with your blood. Wash us with Cleanse, your blood. Us Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Make us new creation. Make us new creation. Let, all let all things be passed away. And let all things be, let all things be, passed and away. And let all things be made new. Let all things be made new. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lift up the, the list again and say, From today, from today, I stand in the gap. I stand in the gap. And I declare blessing on my family. And I declare blessing on my family. None will be small. None will be small. None will be cut off. None will die. We will fulfill our days and we will manifest destinies in Jesus' name. Amen. This is our hour every day with God. It's every day. You don't want to miss any of our Sunday services at Achimoto of Ancor Barrier. It's going to be explosive. Don't miss out any of our three services. It's going to be massive. Don't miss out for anything. I love you. I'm going to see you on Monday morning. Keep talking to people about our power, whether they can listen on radio, television, internet, but make sure that you are sharing the link. God, Richie, bless you. I love you. I will see you tomorrow about this time. All right, let's see what Jesus has done. Before we hear what Jesus has done, can I speak over you, over you weekend miracles, weekend tes testimonies? I declare what does not happen on Saturday will happen for you. What does not happen on Sunday will happen for you. What does not come on Sunday will come on Sunday. Between now and Monday, may you receive a miracle money. May you receive what you have been looking for. In Jesus' name. Let's hear some testimonies of what Jesus has done. God has done it to God has done it. Pastor Evis, God bless you. God bless 
Eddy Mercy and God bless you, all your team, the Aya team. Pastor Harris, God has also shown me mercy. I have a testimony. I was diagnosed of hepatitis B way back in 2012 when I was in Ghana. But the doctors told me the hepatitis B, my own is a chronic one. I contacted it from birth, so there is no cure for it. Way back in Ghana, I didn't take any medicine. So God willing, 2019, I came to Germany. In 2022, I decided to go and check the state of the hepatitis B. I went and I was still having the hepatitis B. The doctors here in Germany also told me the same thing, that my own is chronic one that can be cured. So I should take it like that. So from there, I decided to check the state of my liver because since 2012 to 2022, I, haven't, I was not taking any medicine. So I decided to check the state of my liver. So I went to a cardio and they, from there, they also diagnosed me. I went there to check the state of my liver. And from the cardio, there comes another disease that I have a guy brother. So from the doctors told me that because of the car brother, I want to go under a surgery. I have to do a surgery for them to take the car brother away because some years to come, it can lead to liver cancer. So I have to think about it if I would do the surgery or not. Within my mind, uh, I didn't want to do the surgery, but whenever I go back to the, the doctors, they will advise me, it's the smallest operation that I have to do. There's no complications after the surgery, so they convinced me enough to do the surgery. So fast forward, we booked a date for the surgery, which was on the 30th of June, 2023. But from there, I decided I was praying, I was praying, using water at my point of contact day in, day out. And I was taking it within me, even though we have booked an appointment for the surgery, but within me, I knew that I was not going to do the surgery. So the three weeks to the surgery, I went back to check if there is a healing or not. I went and still the guy brother was there. So the doctors told me uh, I have to do the surgery. I said, no problem, I will do. And within that three weeks before the surgery, I was still having conviction that I will not do this surgery. I said to myself, I will not do this surgery. So the operation was to be done on 30th of June. So the doctors told me I should come on 29th of June to sign the uh, to sign documents showing that I will do the doc, uh, the surgery the next day. So on the 29th of June, I went there, signed every document. After the document, I told the doctor that I want to I want to do the scan again. The doctor asked me, "Why do you want to do the scan again?" I said, "I want to." He said, "No, you just did it." three weeks ago, so there's no need to do it again. I insisted and he said, okay, fine. If you want to do it, no problem. So I went to the sky room, the cardio. The first doctor came. Normally it takes like 15 minutes and they are done with the scan. So the first doctor came, she did whatever. She took like 20 to 25 minutes and when when she was done, I asked him, I asked her how far, and she told me eh, she, that's the, to, today, that day was her first time doing the scan, so she can't read through, through, she can't read 
date. So she sent it to my doctor, so the doctor will confirm it for me. I said, okay, no problem. So she referred me to another doctor. doctor. Another doctor came, she too took like 30 to 40 minutes. So when she too was done, I asked her, what, how far? She said, okay, why do you want to do this? The scan again. I said, I want to, because they don't understand. Normally what they said is, the, when you do the scan, if you want to see that the thing is growing or not, it, it, like, it takes like six months or one year. So they don't understand why I did it just three weeks ago and I want to do it again. But I can also not tell them that I'm praying to God to heal me because they will not understand this. The, the white people, when you tell them that they will not understand, they will say you are even crazy. They will, talk, they, they will tell you that you are even crazy. So I kept it to myself that still I want to do it. So she said, okay, no problem. She too referred me to another doctor. The doctor came and the first question that he, he asked was, why do you want to do this scan again? Because you did it just three weeks ago. So I told him just that I want to do it. I want to be sure of this. He said, ah, but you've been doing this several and we've told you the disease is there. So why now? I said, still I want to do it. Okay. He too did the scan. He took like almost 40 minutes again. And I don't know out of anger or something, he told me it's the same. But I was convinced within my heart, within my soul, within my mind that no, this disease is not there. So right from there, I went to another hospital and I told the doctor that I want to check my heart, I want to check my liver, I want to check. And he asked me, why do I want to check? And I told him, I've been diagnosed of a guy brother that I want to go under, under surgery the following day, so I want to be sure of it. So he too did the scan, did everything, and passed the Elvis. Guess what? After the scan, he told me, there is nothing. Your liver is good, your kidney is good. Everything is good. Who told you you have a guy brother? I said, doctor, are you sure? Check it again. I have been diagnosed of that brother. He said, no, everything is good. Your liver is good. Everything is good. So if you don't believe me, go to another doctor and check. I said, no, doctor, you have to recheck it again because I know what I'm saying. I showed him the report that the other doctor gave it to me. He said, no, no, there might be a mistake somewhere. So he is writing my doctor to tell him that I don't have any guy brother. So they should have to suspend the surgery. I was say, I said, wow, what God cannot do does not exist. Pastor Evis, and then he wrote my doctor. The following day I went to my doctor, he said, yeah, this is the report, so there's no need for the surgery for now. So I should hold on. I should hold on for the surgery. He is writing the other doctors for the surgery that I should hold on. And Pastor Evis, I feel within my heart, I feel within my soul, in me, I know I've been healed. I know I've been healed because I know the altar I'm praying with. Pastor Elvis, thank you so much. My second testimony. Pastor Elvis, I was a banker in Ghana. And me as a banker, I was always advising my customers how to save money and it was working for them day in, day out. The nurses, the doctors, uh, the teachers that they were saving with me, they were taking their salaries from our bank. I was advising them, giving them good advice about finance. But Pastor Evers, me myself, me myself, I cannot save continuously for three months. Da, never, never have I done that way back in Ghana until I came here still. Pastor ever since I joined Alpha Hour, since I joined Alpha Hour, I have been able to save from the beginning of 2023 to date. 
have been able to save every month from the beginning of 20 let me say not the beginning of 2020 from last year 2022 till date i've been able to save every month i'm so 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 happy pastor Harvest, god bless you and your entire team your entire generation god should enlarge your territories god bless you after our every day with god is every day in victory Pastor Harvest, I have other mega testimonies that I want to talk to you personally before I share it here. Thank you very much. God bless you and your team. Amen. Share the link. Share the link. Every day with God is every day a victory. I'm part. Daddy, God richly bless you. May the God continue to anoint you in Jesus' name. Hmm. Before I start with, with this teacher's license exam, since I started, that was 2020, I graduated because of this license. I was not posted. I wrote the first one, I couldn't get it. The second one, the same thing. And the third one, I registered, but I couldn't write. But the fifth one, when I got connected to Alpha Hour, the holy altar, God, hmm. God is to really do you one day. When I joined Alpha Hour, today, no, when they said the, the results were out, I was just, uh, <laughs> he got, though I was somehow shivering, but to God be the glory. The prophecy Papa gave has finally come to pass. On episode 517, Daddy prophesied that he can see success. He can see people smiling out of their exams hall. Anyone writing exam from that day, 30, uh, 31st to uh, December 31st, he can see success. And I claim it with faith. I even wrote it down. On the day I was writing my paper, I saw the seed of uh, 19. Uh, 19 Ghana cities, which stands for my index number and the reference 0119. Uh -huh. That's my index number again. And I saw that seed. I know that seed is nothing, but just that it's just a sacrifice that I made, knowing very well that my God will surely speak and write for me. And to God be the glory. When the results came, I've passed, or oh, I've went through. For what I've been crying for years, this is the last chance. If I fail this one, meaning I have to go back again and do the degree. If not, I won't be ready to write again because they are now doing only a degree. So this is the last chance for the diploma people. To God be the glory, I've passed all the three papers. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Jesus, for making it happen. God richly bless you. May your anointing never end in Jesus' name. You came purposely because of some of us, because I was in the world. But with through your preachings and your prayers, I've gone, I've now, uh, I'm now fully born again. I've come back to the Lord. Though I used to go to church, but I was not that fully born again. But now, dear, I'm too committed. And I've made a promise to the Lord that I will save him with wholeheartedly until he takes me from this uh, world. And my generation will never pass through what I've gone through in Jesus' name. Share the link, go oh, share the link. Let me sing this song, please. Mo Yesu Mo, Mo Yesu Mo, Ah. Mumma, I am a Yesu. Now I had a Cassia, mammy. Mumma, I am a Yesu. Mumma, I am a Yesu. Mumma, I am a Yesu. Now I had a Cassia, mammy. Oh God, 
Finally, finally, it's now a testimony. Finally, finally, it's now a history. What I cannot do by myself, the Lord has done it. Every day with God is every day in